welcome uh, so it's eight o'clock we, we can begin I've been talking Wednesday and Thursday I talked a lot about awareness and about uh, what awareness was and how uh, in fact that's really what we are is awareness uh, so I just wanted to talk a bit more about that because we're going to do the mindfulness of breathing uh, morning Jan so uh, mindfulness and awareness uh, in many well are, are the same thing there might be slight differences in uh, tone about them somehow there might be uh, different people have different ideas but basically they are the same thing but I prefer the word awareness because it's uh, don't know it's uh, it's more all-encompassing I think so we are every moment of our lives from the day we're born we are aware and uh, that awareness isn't something it's not it's not something like uh, having an ear or an eye um, or uh, so it's not something solid it's just it, awareness is made up of everything that's happening in this ever evolving moment okay it's just whatever is arising and passing away in our experience in every single evolving moment of our lives and our awareness is always there if it wasn't there we wouldn't we wouldn't be able to function we we are aware of everything we do um but we're, it's a very sort of ghostly awareness a lot of the time because it's covered over with this chattering mind of ours that constantly worries about things, commentates on things, <laughs> uh, has views and opinions, uh, has lots of fears, gets angry, upset and so on. You know the kind of thing. Our minds are constantly on at us, just... Uh, just going on all the time, like a small two-year-old, constantly uh, tugging at our being <laughs> and uh, asking us things and telling us things. And, and also having tantrums and stamping its feet. So that's our mind. Uh, and because it's so busy, it sort of uh, obscures our awareness. And in fact, the, it's the things that our mind does are called obscurations. They're like, a, they're like a fog that covers up our awareness. And whilst we're still aware, we're not, we're not very, very aware. We're just sort of, uh, we're functioning aware, but we're not really, really aware. We're caught up in our mind state, in our usually often negative mental states. So what we're trying to do in meditation is to uh, cultivate pure awareness. We're trying to cultivate, uh, we're trying to let go of the busy mind so that this, uh, this wonderful awareness, this awareness of the present moment just arises and takes over. And if we can keep on meditating and we can keep on practicing, eventually we get to a stage where um, hopefully our awareness and our busy mind are uh, pretty much in balance. And then what happens is that our awareness, uh, I'm looking at myself and my hands are the wrong way around, our, our awareness actually takes over. And the Buddha was just full awareness. The Buddha was nothing but awareness, awareness of the present moment unfolding all the time. He didn't have any problems with uh, a busy mind because he didn't have a busy mind because his awareness was at the forefront rather than his busy mind being at the forefront. So that's what we're trying to attain. And if we can do that, they call it liberation. They call it freedom. And it's liberation or freedom because we're not driven by our minds. We are, we're not driven at all. We're not got... We don't have any pain or suffering. We might have uh, physical pain, but it doesn't, it's just physical pain. We don't get caught up in it. It doesn't bother us that much. We might have things go wrong, but hey, it's okay. Because we don't have uh, this, this, this mind that's always uh, going on at us. We're just very content, 
very peaceful and full of wisdom and compassion because awareness is full of compassion and wisdom uh, and in a state of awareness we can't help but be happy so that's what we're trying to do so we probably won't get there today <laughs> <laughs> uh, it takes uh, it takes a lot of practice, uh, but it you can notice over the years you can notice it happening, and that is wonderful. And many of you will have already noticed it happening. So it's just a case of allowing it to continue. Okay, so uh, good morning to Julia and Jan who've joined us. Uh, I think I said Jan before actually. Um. So we'll begin by uh, just settling into this uh, mindfulness, this awareness meditation, this awareness of breathing, you could call it. Okay. So just taking a few deep breaths. And relaxing. Allowing the mind to relax as much as you can and the body and any emotional state that's current just allowing it to be at ease as much as you can. You might just notice how we are, how we are this morning. Mentally, emotionally and physically. And when you're observing this, uh, you're observing this out of awareness. So you're aware of feeling grumpy. You're aware of feeling a bit anxious. You're aware that you're in a positive or mental, positive or negative state of mind. You're aware that your body is comfortable or uncomfortable. And you're aware that you're sitting here right now, right this moment. And in this moment, and in this moment, so this awareness is so precious. Just noticing when your mind pulls you away in this meditation, how you lose awareness or you seem to lose awareness. It's still there but you're not in contact with it. So we might bring awareness to our face, our faces, just noticing what does your face feel like? Are you aware of any tightness in your face? Maybe in the forehead. And if you're aware of it, you can allow it to relax. Awareness helps us to see what's happening. And to make a choice about it. So if we're not aware, we might just go around with a frown all day. If we're aware, we can allow the frown to just drop out. We can allow our faces to sag. Allow them to just relax. We 
can bring our awareness to the soles of our feet. And we can be aware of the tingling the warmth or other sensations, whatever we can feel in the soles of our feet. Just we know, without thinking, we know what's happening in the soles of our feet. We don't need the thinking mind, the busy mind, to tell us what our soles of our feet feel like. We just know that's awareness. So enjoying this sense of knowing the tingling in the feet. And the feelings in the legs. What can you feel in the legs? There'd be more tingling. Without thinking about it, you know, you know how your legs feel. And the belly and the abdomen, what do they feel like? What's going on in this part of the body? Whatever it is, it's okay. But if we just, if even if the feelings in this part of the body are a little bit painful or unpleasant, just by staying in awareness of them, having an awareness of them, a kindly awareness of them, then uh, they moderate. It's the thinking that makes our pain worse. The, the, the busy mind gnawing at what it doesn't want. That's what makes our pain worse, whatever it is. So just bring in an emotional, sorry, just bring in awareness to the raw sensations, the raw unpleasant sensations in the body, wherever they are. Just looking at it with awareness rather than thought has a very, very positive effect. And awareness is always kind. Moving up to the chest area. You notice the chest moving as the breath enters and leaves the body. That noticing is awareness. Aware of the movement being aware of the sensations of the breath in the lungs, if you can be, or the throat, or the mouth. Just like this awareness is always with us here, always available, so is the breath. We don't have to consciously breathe. Our body breathes for us. Just as our awareness automatically knows. This is very mysterious, isn't it? Very magical.
So we're entering upon the mindfulness of breathing, the awareness of breathing. And if it helps, uh, when we're going to count um, after each out-breath in the first stage, most of you know that. If you enjoy counting, then that's okay. If that helps you, you can place a number right at the end of the out-breath, beginning with one, and then two, and then moving up to ten. But you don't have to do that. The main thing is to follow each out-breath. From the beginning to the end and to really be aware of every every moment every millisecond of that out breath uh, not to think about it but just to know it with awareness and as you following the out breath you might relax a little bit more on each one it's a relaxing breath so just following each out breath from the beginning to the end. Not paying much attention to the in breath. It's almost as if you relax on each out breath. You can't help but relax. Just allowing the breath to come and go as it wishes, but just noticing, following each out breath, almost sliding down it, relaxing.
So just letting go of following the out breath. Just noticing how you are right now. Are you comfortable? If you're not, adjusting your posture. Just being aware of being here right now. This moment. And then we're going to start following the in-breath. Right from the beginning to the end of each one. Not paying too much attention to the out-breath this time. And if you want to count, you can count just before the beginning of each in-breath. Again, beginning with one. And then counting each in-breath up to ten. Then beginning again. And as you bring awareness to each in-breath, you might notice that it's an enlivening breath. It brings energy and life into the body. It lifts us up.
Moving into the third stage of this meditation, we're going to move our awareness to the body, to the breath in the body. Body sensations as they move, the sensations of the breath as it comes in and out of the body, into the throat and lungs, pushing out the rib cage expanding the chest Just bring in your awareness to all the sensations in the upper body and uh, just allowing as yourself as much as you can to become absorbed in that. Just really getting close, not trying hard, not thinking about it, just really bringing your awareness really into focus on the upper body and the movement of the chest. And when thoughts interrupt, just letting them go. They're not a problem. They're just what happens. And if you wish, you can stay in the chest area, but if you like, you could also broaden out your awareness to other parts of the body. Maybe noticing any subtle movements, sensations of the breath in the legs.
even in the feet. You notice it's almost like you could breathe in through your feet, through the soles of your feet. Just imagining that, breathing in through the soles of the feet. Drawing the breath through the soles of the feet. Maybe you can notice the breath in your arms and hands. Can you imagine breathing in through your hands, drawing breath through the hands? And noticing the drawing of the breath in the belly and the abdomen. And widening your awareness even further into the whole of the body. <clears throat> Noticing the whole of your experience of embedded feeling. All the feelings, all the sensations, all the movements in the body as a whole. And finally, bringing our awareness up to the area where the breath comes into our body, maybe around the nostrils or the upper lip, and just noticing the delicate sensations as the air brushes past these points.
So just letting go of all effort now. Not doing anything, just sitting with your experience, with your clear awareness of everything that's happening in this moment, as much as you can. The sensations in the body. Any sounds you can hear. The light playing on your eyelids. The taste in your mouth. Contact with the chair or the bed, the floor. Warmth or coldness of the air. The tingling in your body. anything else. In this moment, if you are aware, you are in contact with your life. You're in contact with reality, real time. And it's quite beautiful, isn't it? Quite easy. But we're going to have to finish. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to bring this meditation to an end in a moment. And when I do, just taking your time and opening your eyes, moving your body very gently. So good morning to Emma, who joined us later. And um, yeah, I just wanted to add about awareness that it's just, it's so, it's so in the potential and the benefits are so enormous of us being aware. For a start, um, as I said at the end, we are in touch with our lives. We're not caught up in our minds looking at the past or the future feeling anxious, we're actually here, right in our lives, experiencing every moment of, uh, of awareness in our lives. So our lives become more precious to us, we, we experience them more. And the other thing about awareness, one of the other things, is that um, if we're very aware, uh, we, we will still get angry, perhaps, or upset, but we don't have to act on it quite so much. We have an opportunity, if we get angry, not to act in an angry way. Uh, and we, if we get upset, we have an opportunity not to let it throw us into uh, depression or upset or trauma. Uh, we have a gap uh, between the feeling that arises when we're going to get angry or upset and uh, and actually expressing those emotions and making them worse. So this awareness uh, can help us to uh, not react in the same ways that we normally do. And that means that we don't get caught up in the unhappiness that we normally get caught up in. So anyway, that's awareness. Thank you very much for joining me. 
uh, just a reminder that this is we've got a two week break coming up now and when we come back it will be monday to Saturday, monday to friday that we're doing these meditations because there'll be other things going on on a saturday from time to time uh, so we're back on monday the 14th monday the 14th i'll be back uh, with pajama meditations um, and uh, anybody who wants to learn more about awareness and the gap and that kind of thing we've got a newcomers course coming up on the 21st of september and you can find details on our website york buddhist group no york buddhist center dot org uh, if you look on that you'll find details of this course it's free i'm doing it and it's for monday nights so it'll be fun uh, so thank you very much for joining me have a good weekend and have a lovely two weeks i'll miss you a lot and uh see you on uh, monday the 14th if you're around so thank you so much for joining me and lots of love to you <laughs>